next we are going to see the change of scale property this property states that if l of f of t is equal to f bar of s then l of f of a t is equal to 1 by a f bar of s by a let us prove this What is the Laplace transform formula? We know that L of f of t is equal to integral 0 to infinity e power minus s t f of t dt. So, what we need here is L of f of a t. Therefore, L of f of a t is equal to integral 0 to infinity e power minus s t f of a t dt. So, instead of f of t here you have f of a t. In order to get the right hand side what we are going to do here is we are going to take this a t as some other variable. So, put a t is equal to some other variable let it be u this implies t is equal to u by a. So, here we have t and dt. So, this implies dt is equal to du by a. What else we need? We have t here and instead of a t we can uh, use u and instead of d t we can use d u by a. Now, let us apply everything in the right hand side. So, this is equal to the integration remains the same it is from 0 to infinity e power minus s instead of t it is u by a into f of a t. So, instead of a t we are taking a t as u this will become u and instead of dt it is du by a. Let me rearrange this. This will become I can take this constant outside. So, 1 by a integral 0 to infinity e power minus s by a into u f of u into du. Let me write this in the form of t or you can have u as it is. So, this can be written as integral 0 to infinity e power minus s by a into t f of t into dt. So, what I have done here is I have changed u as t. So, now compare this with the Laplace transform formula. So, what is the Laplace transform formula? L of f of t is equal to integral 0 to infinity e power minus s t f of t dt. So, instead of s you have s by a and uh, everything else remains the same. So, you can write this as 1 by a f bar of instead of s you have s by a. So, f bar of s by a and hence the proof. Under the change of scale property we are going to prove one more thing that is if L of f of t is equal to f bar of s then L of f of t by a is equal to a into f bar of a s. So, we need to prove this also. So, we know that what is the Laplace transform formula? L of f of t is equal to integral 0 to infinity e power minus s t f of t dt. Therefore, what we need here? We need here is L of f of t by a. The proof here. L of f of t by a is equal to integral 0 to infinity e power minus s t f of t by a dt. Looking into the right hand side we do not have any fractions. So, I am going to take this t by a as some other variable. So, put or let t by a is equal to some u. So, this implies t is equal to we have t here. So, this t will be equal to u a which implies d t is equal to a into d u. Let me apply everything in this right hand side. So, this is equal to the integration remains the same. It is from 0 to infinity e power minus s yes, instead of t we have u into a f of t by a is u this is f of u into instead of dt it is a into du. 
this can be written as I can take the constant outside. So, a into integral 0 to infinity e power minus s into a u f of u du. For our convenience, let us change this u as t. So, this will become a into integral 0 to infinity e power minus a s into t f of t dt. Now, compare this with the Laplace transform formula. So, what is the Laplace transform formula? L of f of t is equal to integral 0 to infinity e power minus s t f of t dt. Comparing with this, except for s, everything remains the same. So, this can be written as a into f bar of instead of s, we have a s f bar of a s. So, hence the proof. Next, let us see some problems under change of scale property. The first problem will be given that L of sin t by t is equal to tan inverse of 1 by p. Find L of sin a t by t. So, it is given that L of sin t by t is equal to tan inverse of 1 by p. We need to find L of sin a t by t. So, clearly we can say that we can use the change of scale property. So, what is given? Given L of sin t by t is equal to tan inverse of 1 by p. So, what is the change of scale property? by change of scale property L of f of t L of f of a t is equal to 1 by a f bar of s by a. So, what is given here? It is L of sin t by t. So, if it is going to be a t this will become L of sin a t by a t. So, instead of t, we have to write it as a t. This is equal to tan inverse 1 by a f bar of s by a. So, it is 1 by a. What is f bar of s by a? f bar of s is tan inverse of 1 by p. So, f bar of s by a will be tan inverse of 1 by p by a. So, tan inverse of 1 by a p by a. Moving to the left hand side, we can take the constant outside. This will become 1 by a L of sin a t by t which is equal to 1 by a tan inverse of a by p. We can cancel this 1 by a and 1 by a. So, this implies L of sin a t by t is equal to tan inverse of a by p. So, this is the answer and this is how you have to use a change of scale property. We will see one more problem in this second problem. If L of j naught of root t is equal to e to the power minus 1 by 4 p by p find L of j naught of 2 root t. So, here what is given? L of j naught of root t is equal to e to the power minus 4 1 by 4 p by p. So, this is what it is given and we need to find L of j naught of 2 root t. We know the change of scale property. So, we know that L of f of a t is equal to 1 by a f bar of s by a. We are going to use this. So, what we need to find? We need to find 2 root t. So, how can you get 2 here? If your a is 4, 
root 4 will be 2. So, you will be getting a 2 here. So, we are going to use that. So, L of j naught of instead of a I am going to apply 4. So, this will become root 4 t is equal to. So, here our a is equal to 4 1 by 4 e power minus 1 by 4 p and now it is s by a here. So, this is p by 4 or a is 4. So, it is p by 4 by again you have a p here. So, this will become p by 4. This implies L of j naught of this is root 4. So, it will become 2. So, 2 root 2 is equal to 1 by 4 into my p by 4 will become 4 by p into e power minus again 4 4 will get cancelled this will become 1 by p. So, this 4 again will get cancelled. So, this can be written as 1 by p e power minus 1 by p. So, this will be our answer.